With the nation's debt ceiling within reach, the debate over how to raise it is suddenly more urgent. I'm ready to cut the deal today. <laughs> you know, we don't have to wait until the 11th hour. No, but I am not going to walk away from this moment. We have, we have a, a moment, a window of opportunity to act. In an interview with CBS's Face the Nation, House Speaker John Boehner reiterated the debt ceiling he wants must come with significant spending cuts. It's an area where Democrats may be willing to give if they can raise taxes on the wealthy. Well, I think we do have to cut spending, but we also have to take a look at revenue and the entitlement programs like Medicare and Social Security. And so the countdown begins. Although the nation's $14.3 trillion debt ceiling will be hit tomorrow, the Treasury Department says it can extend the deadline to early August using creative accounting. But after that, unless the ceiling is raised, the United States of America would default on its debt for the first time ever. Few disagree on the outcome. If we play games with it or play politics with it and default on our national debt, we could plunge this country back into a recession with even, even deeper unemployment. The U.S. government spends $125 billion more than it takes in each month. Long-term deficit reduction has driven the debt ceiling debate, but Democrats and Republicans remain far apart on how to do it. I've put a, a, a plan on the table that takes $4 trillion out of our, out of our deficit and debt. Uh, the question is, are we going to have some compromise? It makes me think that he's really not serious about tackling the big problems uh, that face our country. You don't think he's serious about deficit reduction? Uh, he's talking about it, but I'm not seeing real action yet. Vice President Joe Biden is spearheading negotiations between lawmakers and the White House. Both sides do eventually expect to get a deal, but as history tells us, it might not happen until the last possible second. Russ? Whit Johnson at the White House. Thanks, Whit.